So another trip to Wales. Um, it's one of those frustrating trips because uh, I live on the Wirral and uh, if I look over my right shoulder just across the Dee Estuary I can see Talacra Lighthouse um, and as the crow flies it's probably about three miles from, from home um, but there's no bridge or route across the Dee Estuary uh, until I get right down um, to Queensferry so what could be a couple of minutes journey is actually going to take me just over an hour uh, I've got to do a 36 mile round trip uh, so um, I like the fact there's no bridge over the river uh, because it would probably spoil the view but uh, it would be nice if I had a hovercraft and I could just shoot over but anyway um, it's been a pretty cold day uh, it's, it's just 25 past 2 in the afternoon um, but this morning uh, it was a bit frosty. We've had lots of hailstones recently uh, here in England, if you're not watching in the UK. Um, so uh, been quite cold, quite chilly. Uh, I've got trousers on for the first time, I think, since last winter that I've not been wearing shorts. Um, but I'm off to photograph Tanakra Lighthouse and look at the shapes on the beach and uh, it's, it's about high tide now, so when I get there in an hour, the tide will have drifted out a bit, so uh, I didn't want to photograph the lighthouse uh, around high tide. I wanted to photograph it with some of the beach exposed. Uh, so I'll go and do that and wrap up warm and hopefully get some images with some nice clouds in the background. Um, I'll be on the sun side of the lighthouse so the sun will be behind me and we'll be looking across to the Wirral and England from Wales. Uh, I photographed Talacra Lighthouse before um, and I know what to expect but what I hope to do is uh, look at some compositions, look at some nice uh, cloud formations hopefully and um, see how it goes. So stay tuned, um, you'll be there in a couple of seconds, I'll be there in 57 minutes according to my sat nav. So, see you in a minute. lighthouse big lighthouse in the background um, so it took me about just over an hour and uh, weather conditions pretty good um, and tide is about where I wanted so it's a little bit of luck because it's just about the lighthouse um, I had a bit of trouble because the car park um, is closed because at high tide weirdly the car park floods seems a bit of bad planning but so the car park was closed so I had to double back and go and park somewhere else so it was a bit of a rush down here um, but I'm here the lights hopefully you can pick this up the sun is just above the horizon so you're getting quite a nice um, kind of subdued sunlight uh, enough to pick out the detail in the lighthouse which is haunted by the way um, uh, but also enough dark enough for me to get a longer shutter speed so some of this surf uh, hopefully in the final images will be quite uh, nice movement in that surf so I'll just go through what I'm doing so uh, you can see sun's over there and uh, as I said earlier, I live there, but I go all the way around. It's a bit annoying, a flock of birds coming through. So I'll, I'll take you through my settings um, and try and show you this. So uh, I've got a polarizer on the camera just to take out some of the glare. No filter required because of the colors are quite subdued. So polarizer, and because I'm going for quite a long shutter speed, I'm on, there we go, let's have a look at this. Hopefully this shows up. F22, which has given me about you know, almost half a second um, ISO 100 and uh, that's giving me enough of movement in the water and uh, I'm on also white balance I've tried again uh, with sunny and um, uh, with cloudy but they're far too blue so I go also white balance and if there's any odd tint um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fix that in Photoshop or Lightroom so and what I'm trying to do is 
obviously there's a nice vertical and there's a horizontal here with those. I guess they used to be steps, but the, the tide and weather has, has made the most of them. So got kind of nice and L shape, um, which are quite harsh lines. So I'm waiting for nice uh, waves to come in and take a snap that the waves will hopefully leave the eye round onto the bottom and then up the, up the lighthouse. That's the theory anyway. I'm going to take a few more shots and uh, I'll show you. The tide is moving out of it, so I'm gradually moving a little bit down the beach. Uh, but I'll take some images and I'll show you with them here. So, um, just moved a little bit down the beach because I'm following the tide out, so I'm like a wader following the tide out. Um, but I was just going to show you what I'm trying to do. So hopefully, I've got to swap hands because I'm right-handed. So sorry about that. So I've framed up the image. And I want to see these waves coming in. It's a nice big one coming in. I forgot my shutter release, so I've got to use my hand. There's a nice wave coming in. I know it's all framed up. Take the shot about now. Take another one, because I've got that bigger wave coming in. So you can see that's a lovely shape coming across the, um, across the beach there. Almost waiting for the next big wave. <laughs> so, one more. Right, taking that shot, and let's see if I can show you on the back of the camera how that's coming out. So, not that one, because I've got the wave wrong. But hopefully you can see lighthouse and a nice wave. Now, I'm pretty pleased with that. It might be a little bit dark. Uh, let's have a look at the previous one. Oh, wrong button, sorry. So, yeah, not bad. Maybe need a bit more movement in the waves. So, I hope you can see that. So, and it's getting a bit darker, so I'm gonna have to uh, alter my settings a little bit, because it's, um, uh, sun is, I think, more or less down now. Alter my settings a bit, and then I'm gonna quickly just move around to the end of those steps and try and take one of the lighthouse full frame, but with the waves coming around. So, I'll go and set up over there and, uh, join you again in a few seconds. So one of those really sickening moments, um, just had a camera failure. So I spoke to you before and I was on the other side of the lighthouse where, they, where those people are standing. Uh, moved round just to the end there, set up a shot, really nice composition, clicked the shutter, camera went off. Um, Almost as if the battery had run out, but I know the battery hasn't run out because I charged it on my way here. I've got an in-car charger, so um, I tried another battery, which I also know is fully charged, uh, and that's not working. So uh, I'm really <laughs> trying to... Am I annoyed? Just one of those, you know, these things happen. I don't know, mate, I'll have to... I'm not gonna, I can't do it on the beach, but I'll have to take it and clean the contacts and um, see if there's anything wrong, give it a good uh, blowing. I'm not going to do it here because it'll get really dirty, but... I'm really disappointed because beautiful light in the sky at the moment. Tide's doing its job around the bottom of the lighthouse. Um, and some really nice compositions. So I'm going to dash back to the car, uh, see if I can give the camera a quick clean. And if that helps, I might be back. Um, if not, you'll have some nice footage of the waves. Um, And uh, I think I might have discovered the source of the issue. So batteries in the camera are saying flat. In the charger, it says fully charged. So on my way here, I had uh, uh, my batteries are, are numbered, so one, two, and three. So I had battery number one on charge the whole way here, which is an hour. Uh, and it normally charges up well, and it said fully charged. And then before I got out, I put the other two in and the lights said fully charged, but put them on the camera and they say flat. Um, I trust the camera more than I trust the charger. <laughs> so I'm assuming that the batteries have all gone flat and I've been charging them up in this for a while and they've not been either getting a full charge or only getting a minimum charge. So 
that's going in the bin um, and I'll charge them up at home on the mains and buy another car it is really handy to have a car charger um, but obviously that one's bust so in the bin it goes so am I annoyed <laughs> yeah a little bit um, two hour round trip maybe a little bit more to get here and back um, it was fine I'll listen to the football I'll, I'll check the score actually what's, what, uh, what's the score uh, still nil nil uh, Liverpool Southampton um, so the two hour round trips you know one thing is annoying um, the real annoyance was just as I was setting up um, what looked like a really nice shot the tide was perfect around that kind of run of steps going up to the lighthouse the tide was swirling around the top so I was going to take a shot with that camera stopped working um, so the time is one thing but uh, that's annoying there was lovely colours in the sky um, it's too dark now there's no point going back it, it, it's about kind of 10 minute dash from here to the lighthouse but it's too dark now tidal had gone out too far so hey ho always another day but yeah a bit, bit annoying so um that's the end of the video sorry it didn't turn out as planned um but these things happen and it's i think it's important to show you kind of the, the good things that happen and also the annoying things that happen um, and that uh, goes down as annoying but kind of we learn from the process so Hope you've enjoyed the video. There are some images, fingers crossed, some good images. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give, give me a thumbs up. Uh, it's lovely to see people giving some positive feedback to my uh, to my films. If you've got the time, it'd be great if you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's anything you're not sure of, and ask me a question. Uh, I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, and if you ask a good enough question, I might even make a film about it. Um, so ask me a question, leave a comment. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if this, if this is the first of my films you've seen. There's probably 10 or 12 before this in the series. So go back and have a look at those. Uh, it'll only take a couple of hours if you like. Go back and have a look at those. Uh, subscribe and then you'll get a notification every time I produce a new film. You'll get a notification that uh, one's available to view. And I aim to do one at least every two weeks. Um, so thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to uh, spend a few minutes with me. Probably not as many as minutes as I'd planned. Um, but I'm off home. I'm going to listen to the end of the football and have a cup of tea when I get in. I think I deserve it. Thank you very much. See you. Bye. <laughs>